Now, South Carolina, as you remember, changed its execution laws last month, but now some state senators say they'll file legislation to bring back lethal injection drugs. Our Jason Raven spoke with lawmakers and prison officials about that idea. Now, state Department of Corrections Director Brian Sterling says they are continuously trying to bring lethal injection drugs into South Carolina, but have not been successful as of late. That's beside the point. As Senator Greg uh, Hembry of Horry County says will be pre-filing shield law legislation in December with other sponsors. And you have you know, private companies able to, to you know, kind of take justice off the tracks. That's just not an acceptable, that's not an acceptable circumstance. As Senator Hembry says he wants to put a law in place that keeps companies who sell lethal injection drugs to South Carolina anonymous. Now, prison officials say the last batch of lethal injection drugs the state had expired in 2013 and have not been able to get a hold of any since then. South Carolina usually uses this sedative pentobarbital, pancuronium bromide, and potassium chloride. Now, Senator Hembry says SHU laws has helped other states get these drugs. I think the goal is, bottom line, you want to use the most humane method, and taking this next step would provide that opportunity. Now, Senator Hembry was the main sponsor of the legislation that gave inmates the option of choosing the electric chair or firing squad of sentenced to death if lethal injection drugs were unavailable. Now, SCDC Director Brian Sterling says he's testified before lawmakers to tell them the impact a shield law could have. We are still trying to get the drugs, talking to places that would supply the drugs. We have not been successful in doing that. Um, but we do believe that if we did have a shield law, the likelihood is that someone would sell us the drugs for lethal injection. Now we reached out to anti-death penalty groups about a potential shoe law and have not heard back. Now executions in South Carolina remain on hold until the Department of Corrections has set up the firing squad option. Now Director Sterling says he does not have a date for when the firing squad policies and procedures here in South Carolina would be finalized. In Columbia, Jason Raven, 7 News. The last execution in South Carolina was in 2011, and at the time, prison officials used lethal injection.